Ginny walks slowly around the low light of dance hall. A tall figure leaning against a pillar watches her intently as he idly smokes a cigarette. He doesn't seem to belong there. His clothes don't have the nattiness of a dance lover. Jenny pauses not far from him. Deliberately, he throws his cigarette on the floor, steps on it, and slowly walks over to her. Hello. Oh. Oh, hello. You're not with anyone, are you? Oh, no, I, I'm alone. I thought so. I've been watching you all the time. Have you? I haven't seen you dance yet. I don't know anyone here. How about dancing with me, then? All right. Come on. Let's go out on the floor. Do you come here often? No. I never go to the same place twice. You don't? Why? I'm always looking for new faces. I'm restless. Do you find the faces you're looking for? Listen. Listen to that song. I like that. I like it very much. Yes, it... It is a nice song. You know... You remind me of someone I used to know. I'm trying to think who. I do? Yeah. You mind if we stop dancing and go over and get a drink? No. Uh, let's go. Alan, let's get down for some air. We can come back in a few minutes. Come on. But... We'll be back before the music starts. Oh, you're hurting my arm. Am I? I'm sorry. Fresh air smells good, doesn't it? It's, it's so dark here. Let's go back. You're not scared, are you? Oh, no, it's... it's Let's it's walk down like... this alley and back. Oh, please, please. No, you Let me go. Oh! Thanks. That's a lovely necklace, beautiful. Why, you're just a cheap... Shut thing. up. All you wanted was my necklace. So long, beautiful. Look out. What's the matter? Behind you, look. Holy... She's dead. A girl. Murdered. With a white rosebud in her hand. Well, Jenny, happened again last night. Just like the other times. The girl strangled in an alley and a white rose in her hand. Any news of the killer? No. He might just as well float through the air for all the trace he leaves. He must have bought the flower upstairs in the dance hall. He must have been there earlier, bought it, and saved no, it. No, there was only one rose sold up there all night. And to a man who had a different girl with him. We had the flower girl. At... How did you know that they sold flowers there? I didn't tell you. Well, I... I must have read it somewhere. You couldn't have. It wasn't in any of the papers. No details were given, just the statement that an unidentified body was found. Well, I... Yeah, well... I just imagined that they'd sell flowers in a place like that. Well, I'm glad you don't go near those dance halls. Why, with this nut running around loose... Oh, don't bother about that. We'd better catch this killer. And fast. Where, where do you get this wee stuff? To hear you talk, you'd think that you were on the case, too. Wouldn't you think so? To hear me talk? Again, Jenny tours the low dives, hunting for the white rose killer. Her search carries her to the waterfront. And as she walks past each dingy bar, she listens to the jukebox music. Midnight, she passes a dirty windowed saloon. The thin music catches her ear. She pauses and listens, her eyes alive for some sign, some indication of the person she's looking for. Then suddenly her body becomes rigid as her eyes fall upon a figure huddled in the shadows. Someone's watching me. Slowly, she starts to walk up the street. 
Behind her, the heavy tread of a man's footsteps keep pace with hers. It's a quiet tread, unhurried but deliberate. For several blocks, it keeps the exact distance. Jenny starts to walk faster. I've got to know if he's really following me. The man quickens his pace. Jenny starts across the street. The man follows. She's sure now, sure that the man is following her. She fumbles for something in her purse. Her hand closes around a gun. If he tries anything, I'll shoot. You in any trouble, lady? Oh, no, officer. It's, it's all right. You scared him away. Scared who away? Oh, just a man who wanted to bring me flowers. That's all. Well, he brought you one anyhow, lady. What do you mean? Right there on the ground, right by your feet. A white rose. <laughs> Coffee, Mabel. Sure, coming right up. Here you are. Terry. Terry. Hello, Jenny. Sit down. Thank you. Say, what's the matter with you? Look, darling, read the gossip column in this paper. What daughter of a socially prominent family sat way about a detective and waits for him outside the station house in her limousine every night? Private chauffeur and all... But Mama says no. That's not so funny. Oh, they held a big family war council over me just now. Indian powwow, feathered headdress and everything. They did, huh? Well, what did they decide? Oh, I was asked to give my word that I wouldn't see you anymore. I refused, of course, so I'm to be exiled. Where to? Our summer home. It's just a few hours out of town, but I'll be there all by myself. Just with Mrs. Crosby, the housekeeper. Oh, maybe they're right. Why don't you listen to them? Are you on their side, too? No. When are you leaving? Right away. Edwards is driving me out. I just slipped out to let you know. Here's the address and phone number of the place in case you want to reach me. Don't lose it. I won't. Well, what's new and exciting about the White Rose Killer? Our famous lover of flowers. <laughs> We're still trying to track him down. I suppose I'll go looking for him at the flower show that's just opened. Oh, a flower show just opened? Yeah. Well, uh, goodbye now. I'll be seeing you. What uh, floor is the flower show, please? Third floor, miss. Three, please. Third floor. Where's the rose display, please? Uh, to your left, over there. See where the man in the gray coat is? In the gray coat? Oh, yes, thank you. They are lovely, aren't they? Oh, you... You startled me. I'm sorry. I was just admiring the roses. Oh, yes, the nicest flowers here. I, I just can't keep my eyes off them. Yes, you, you can feel that way about some flowers. And that's the way I feel about white roses. Have you been here long? I really don't know. I suppose so. You, you see, I've come here every day since the show opened. I, I like to be near the roses, the white roses. Those big ones are nice. No, I, I like the little ones best, the little tightly curled rosebuds. They're so little and innocent. Oh, well, I, I really better be going. Are you going down? Yes. Down, please. Here, miss, I... I took a rose for you. Thank you. It, it's lovely. And would you... Would you care to have a drink with me? Why, yes, thank you. I know the little place a block or two down there. They have nice music. We'll go there. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> This is it. Where's the music? A nickel in the jukebox, does it? Any special song you'd like? No. Uh, go ahead and pick one. Okay. 